What's going on to all of my uh, Libras out there? So please make sure um, to comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to continue to see content like this, I post uh, often, every single week. And um, so let's begin with your reading. So as you can see, I have the Dragon's Tarot. Let's get it. Let's see. You leaders have got so I'm seeing the Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, the yeah, High Priestess, Eight of Cups, um, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, very interesting, Temperance, okay, Five of Wands. King of Wands. Interesting. Um, the Queen of Swords. Lovers. Uh, yeah. The Moon. Uh huh. Four of Pentacles. And the Devil card. Okay. So I'm using the Dragon to roll. Okay. I love dragons. Um, always had a special connection with them. Even as a child. So, um... What I'm seeing here for the uh, Libras, no kind of strong indication of the of Libra because you didn't get the Justice card. But based upon the Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords, right? I'm seeing that a lot of you um, Libras are... Uh, Very interesting because Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. This is something about you, you uh, Libras, where you Libras seem to have been a, a emotional about a particular person that has gotten on your nerves because they may have uh, essentially wasted your time, right? Um, in a number of ways. They could have wasted your time. Um, you know, they could have wasted your time. Telling you that they were interested straightforwardly. Maybe even, didn't necessarily even do that. Maybe more so try to dangle themselves, basically, or, or dangle uh spending time with you on a carrot and then did a bait and switch the page of pentacles and the eight of swords represents how uh since then you've made the transition okay this person played games with you or whatnot it is what it is um the eight of swords you you cut them off it's their loss um you libras are essentially ta already taking the steps to be over it the um the high priestess okay and the eight of cups so you get a lot of eight cards in this reading you have the eight of swords the eight of cups right a lot of eight cards um eight represents the number of infinity so this may so you believers may think that this is something that occurs with you forever and ever and ever not necessarily um, again, just got a lot of people out here who y'all, y'all already know I say it in almost every single video, playing a lot of games. Tonight myself was, uh, cause I'm actually filming this video before you actually get to see it. Tonight myself was waiting on a text message from someone that said that they would text me, didn't do what it is that they said they was going to do. Already deleted that number out of my phone. Forgotten. Lost. I have photographic memory. Didn't even bother to look at it because just in case situations like this, you gotta you got you have to earn me keeping your number in, in my phone. If not, it is what it is. And it's the same concept for you Libras. Gotta learn to take that kind of um mentality. A lot of this playing stuff should be beneath you. And the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups represents, for some of you Libras, it is beneath you. You know what I mean? The High Priestess represents a person who is 
existing on a higher level in the sense that they're done with the games. The high priestess represents a person who's who's uh, studying, a person who should be spending their time studying if they aren't already studying. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups represents how this is a situation for you, um, Libras, uh, where um, your time to play will come afterwards because the High Priestess represents the kind of... Uh, it represents the kind of existence that you need to be on for you to not be bothered by what's going on, right? And then the Eight of Cups represents how it is that, you know, the reality of the situation is you just have a lot of people out here playing games, right? Playing with people and stuff like this. And um, they're really ultimately hurting themselves. So... So, um, the next couple cards are the um, Ace of Pentacles, huh. <laughs> uh, the Fool, okay, and the Temperance. So, this is about how um, uh, very interesting, okay. This is about how this is a new uh, journey for you, Libras, right? Libra is one of the Libra is a zodiac sign that doesn't necessarily like to physically travel all the time. Uh, that's more so Gemini, Virgo. That's more so Gemini, Virgo, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius kind of thing. Um, but Libra more so likes to go inward, <laughs> inwardly. So. The Ace of Pentacles and the Fool represents how this is a new time for you Libras, where a lot of you Libras aren't even going to interact with someone who, you know, if, if in other words, they're playing, if they're playing games with you, um, a lot less tolerance that you Libras are going to show. So the Temperance, right? The Temperance represents this being a situation where, um, uh, the temperance represents learned lessons. It represents Sagittarius, right? And um, Sagittarius energy is very, very compatible with the Libra energy. You have Offset and Cardi B. Offset is a Sagittarius, Cardi B is a Libra. So, um, this is, you know, this is a situation where uh, the temperance energy, look at it, the temperance, the temperance energy is an energy where the person, uh, look at it, the person is is pouring, or the angel is pouring the liquid out of one cup into the other, meaning that you've made the transition uh, from one stage where you're the person that would get yourself all angry per se, or not necessarily angry, that's too strong of a word. <laughs> you know, it's way too strong of a word. Um, disappointed, you know what I mean? Uh, disappointed and more so becoming indestructible in the sense of you've, you've successfully made the transmutation, right? The temperance card is a card of alchemy, right? So you've, you heard of turning, um, uh, lead into gold. Lead represents Saturnian energy, right? Which is in the reading, okay? Um, into gold, something that people use and they see as valuable. Now, not saying that lead isn't valuable, but lead is a very dense, you know what I'm saying, dark material, as opposed to gold is very shiny, beautiful, and people use gold as a precious metal in order to um, uh, use it in a sense of money or in put it into uh, devices of whatever it is that they build. And that's essentially the kind of energy that you, you Libras have transformed from into. You went from, cause, and, and, this, and Libra rules the seventh house. And the, and the seventh house, or i.e. Libra, is the most um, social house slash social zodiac sign. Because again, Libra or the seventh house, either or, or both, in a combination, right? If Libra is in the seventh house, 
or them separately by themselves. Libra, the seventh house, represents the relationships that things have with each other. So it represents that interconnectedness. It represents, um, you know, the relationships that um, things have with one another. So it represents the things that you put a value on. And with the temperance, it, it the temperance and the fool, right? And even the ace of pentacles, it represents this deep level of new transformation that a lot of you Libras have had within your own selves, right? Because remember, I was just saying that, that Libra is a zodiac sign that doesn't necessarily like to particularly travel outwardly all the time. A lot of the times they like to inwardly travel. So... There's this huge transmutation or transformation. Um, not as dark as Scorpio, right? It's not, this is a more benevolent transformation where it's not as painful as if you was getting the death card, right? Or the tower card. Because when you get, when you get the tower card or when you get the death card, it usually speaks to a very much painful transition. <laughs> From, from from one situation to another to where if you got the full right ace of Pentacles temperance it's a it's a very benevolent convenient pleasurable one so you you now have a better stronger mindset a lot of your leaders starting to become indestructible by the way if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading my email address as well as prices are in the description box below as usual I'm available to do personal readings today come through you know what I mean why not? Come get your reading. Oh yeah, as well as I offer a two hundred dollar one. You basically you spend two hundred dollars, you save eighty bucks. One hour readings, um, and uh, and spending two uh, hundred dollars will last you an entire month. So let's just say, okay, today is the twenty second, right? Or whatever it is that you're seeing this video will be June twenty second. Pay me two hundred dollars. It'll last all the way until uh, July 22nd. One hour readings, right? And you'll be getting 60 minute, one hour readings, right? So, and the thing is, so, um, so any, anyway, on to the reading. You have the um, Five of Wands and the King of Swords, right? So the Five of Wands and the, uh, the King of Swords represents, um, you know, it, it, you know, it, it how do I say? It represents you, you leavers being ready for confrontation, right? And ready for difficulty. You know, too too many oftentimes, Libras don't like um, difficulty, right? They don't like um, opposition. They don't like confrontation. Um, and Libra, ironically, is one of those zodiac signs where. Um, that's appropriate because because Libra or the Justice, right, or even the Empress card, right, represents uh, a Tarot card that that is supposed to be about ending the the unnecessary fight to actually create some form of fairness, right. But what Libras don't understand is, and this is what in the just this is why it is that in the Justice card. The justice holds up a sword. What it's showing you is, or the secret in the justice card, is that is that we are living in a world where most people are caught up in the ego. They're too delusional. So if you really want to create peace and get people to stop fighting, you have to essentially put foot to somebody's butt <laughs> and, and make it so that you settle the differences between the two. And then you can establish your peace. And that's what Aries represents. Aries represents that war. And Libra represents the peace that comes after the war. Aries. And that's the same situation for you Libras that you need to understand. You can have... Um, you, you're ready for confrontation as you should have been. Your entire life has led you up, up to this point. You're supposed to see this reading. Um... So then you have the Queen of Swords, right? The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, like I said, is being battle ready. You have the King and Queen of Swords being battle ready, right? Being justified and not being emotional about it in the sense of 
you running around and looking for everyone to pick and pick some sort of fight with but the queen of swords represents how but you're ready for it just in case if it happens you know you are ready for it you're not going to necessarily run around and look for it at, at your own potential detriment and expense but you're ready for it then the lovers okay wow the lovers and the moon card the lovers and the moon card represent how um you you know um it this is more reflective about the kind of relationships that you have where the lovers and the moon card represents how like you know people people interact with you right and they and they like you right and there's a connection with you but the moon represents instantaneously the the emotional problems come up where people's baggage shows itself and it's like you know the four of pentacles represents how you know the the you know the 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 disappointment that a lot of you uh believers go through is a sense of like um uh fairness that you believers are trying to establish that's why it is that you got the four of pentacles because the four of pentacles represents after the moon right where these people essentially uh disappoint you they don't really live up to expectations because they do like you right the lovers they do like you they do but the problem is the moon they got they got baggage to deal with the four of pentacles represents how it is that you essentially have healed but it also represents how they have to live with that and that's their problem and then the thing is that the devil represents how you know the the devil represents the other side to that as you can see it as you can see it's the same archetype in a sense three individuals on the card but the situation is is that with the lovers the lovers represents how things start if things start well but the devil represents how things turn and it turns in the sense of like you know you realize that you and you realize that you you've got something going on for yourself where <laughs> you know what i'm saying where like you know you know you have the moon interfering these people are crazy these people, you know what I'm saying? These, these people whom you're interacting with and stuff like this, it's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? For lack of a better term, you know, they're crazy. They, 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 they delude themselves into, into things based upon their own self-hatred, but the things that they do like you. But the devil represents how it is that, you know, they, it turns into the flip where they they like you, but they also have to make you their enemy type stuff. So craziness. Let's clarify the devil card, right? <laughs> that is crazy. Um, uh, dance, right? Uh, la flambo, right? You, you and you and your partner, or you and your potential significant other, who you usually try to get to know, right? Having a good time, and then you have the grand bo boys, grand boys, which is um, uh, grand wow, grand boys, which is uh, wow. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Grand voice, which is like um I'm sorry, these cards are hitting home. <laughs> uh huh. The ground so the ground voice is like um like uh um like uh the slate being wiped clean. You know what I mean? So it's like so it's like, you know, things is going good. Things got crazy, but at the same time, right? Because of, because we're clarifying the devil, the the grand voice represents um, the the slate being wiped clean. It's like you know you don't have to hang out with these people if you don't want to. You know what I mean? And um, they're gonna respect your wishes, 
to uh, stay away from from them, you know, because they're not going to, most of the times people who are crazy like that don't necessarily seek you out, you know what I mean? It's more so, um, uh, you know, uh, it's more so like um, they know that they messed up, you know, their ego is playing games with them and stuff, the emotional baggage. And because uh, the moon represents the expelling, the moon represents junk, right? The moon represents, like I said before, how it is that people really care about you, but <laughs> they're scared. So let's clarify that. Um, uh, magic mirror, right? Secret societies, right? I'm using the, the voodoo to roll. And you have the uh, mambo. So, <laughs> so what I'm seeing here is is that the black mirror is about how it is that they and it clarifies the moon, and the moon represents the the biggest mirror, right? It represented the, the the time in which you can actually see your own reflection, even in the night sky, or the sun's reflection, or even its own reflection. So, the 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 um. The magic mirror represents how they have to be the ones to essentially look at themselves every single day, right? And then the secret societies represent how it is. Um, it's not necessarily meaning secret societies. It just represents how, you know, people are talking about you. You know what I mean? Like, they, these people are thinking about you a lot. And the mambo, right? Well, we all know what the mambo is. But the mambo... Right represents how um, this person uh, uh, sees you with intent, but yet again, man, look at this individual, the mambo. Right, this is a person who you know has a lot of intensity for you, but at the same time, it may it may you know <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that just because they like you and it's intense doesn't necessarily mean that it may be healthy. So. Um, if you'd like to, for me to go deeper into that, you can contact me through my email. Come get a reading. That's pretty much it. Peace.